Skin Manager at Happiness.com, creator of the Seeds of Change program to help you go from Pam's to all to happiness, founder of Shine Your Light, Goddess, Shine Your Light, the boot camp reading school of Reiki. Hope you're well. I hope you're having the most amazing week. It's, um, oh my goodness, the nights are getting uh, uh, longer. The days are drawing in and um, we're definitely stepping towards winter solstice. And finding the light within the dark can be one of the most powerful and wonderful things that we can do. It really is. And it's such a beautiful thing to be able to do whilst acknowledging the darkness. So, yeah. Um, a couple of days ago, I sent out a survey and thank you to you if you, uh, if you answered it. It's a survey around... You know, what do people find the most challenging in December and how do they overcome it and, and just any questions around that because I know that in the run up to winter solstice and Christmas there can be so many events on and it can feel overwhelming at times and so I just thought how can I help support that and so thank you so much to everybody who answered it. I'm going to be um, sending out an email with a video a bit later on answering the main question that came up so keep an eye on your inbox for that um, so that hopefully I can help, hopefully I can help along the way. So, as always, I pulled out two cards now, now that I have my own deck of cards. So crazy. Kate's pocket, uh, Kate's oracle cards. Um, and so I pulled out a card from uh, Kate's oracle cards, the oracle card decks, and from Carl Gray's Angels and Ancestors. So I'll start with mine, um, and because uh, that's seems to be either way and then we'll go deeper into Kyle Gray's ones. So this week's card is love. So you you love those around you, you love so deeply and yet you are struggling with the unconditional love for yourself that you have that you have for perhaps your fur babies or those around you. This card is encouraging you to go within to love yourself exactly as you are right now. Not whom you think you should be. You are imperfectly perfect, as are all souls who walk this earth. And you're being called at this time to simply love yourself unconditionally. With this unconditional love comes the courage to show up as you are. Okay. And then you can watch the magic unfold. Enjoy this process so much. Yeah. Love yourself as you love those around you. That's pretty powerful, actually. I I I channeled all of that, so I can quite easily say it's pretty powerful because I channeled that. Um, so yeah, just beautiful. Love yourself unconditionally. It's really powerful. Sometimes it can be the hardest thing in the world to do. And I realise that actually a lot of what I do um, through a lot of my programmes is about helping people love themselves exactly as they are and not to think about where they should be and to just focus on where they are now and accept that and accept that. So, yeah, that's very powerful. Actually. Goosebumps. Yeah. Anyway. Ah, the other card for the week, She-Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. And I suppose it's a lot easier to unleash the wild within when you love yourself exactly as you are, because then you can show people who you are and unleash that wild within. So, let your wild side up and out. Unleash your talents and your desires. Ah. The she-wolf is a powerful shamanic soul who is half wolf and half woman. She is the alpha female who is not afraid to stand out from the crowd, which you can only do when you love yourself from within. They tie together beautifully, or in this case, pack. She is a wild, unfiltered and unfettered. She is wild, unfiltered and unfettered. Try saying that. <laughs> uh, she encour encourages you not to be trapped by the limiting factors or weaker members of the pack 
or those who you are trying to hunt, who are trying to hunt you down because you have gifts that they don't like or understand. She represents the energy of wildness and unknown, and encourages you to free. Uh, to be free and unchained and go beyond your boundaries. Release the animal energy within and track down those that you need to, um, track down the, the, what you need to do to express your true self. I've done a lot of video recording today. Um, so you're being rewilded at your, this time, guided to reconnect to your with your rebellious heart, the part of you that likes to break boundaries and go beyond them completely. If you have been holding back on your hopes or dreams, you're being encouraged to chase after them now. Let the wolf energy within help you you track down what direction you want to go in and don't let any traps or hunters get in the way of your freedom or your growth you like the life you want is here that is so this is so so true and it's something that we do a lot in uh, shine your light goddess the boot camp in seeds of change program is that we'll sit there and sort of realize well perhaps we've been keeping our smell ourselves small or not following our dreams and wishes and goals because of what others think and so you know it can be really powerful when you suddenly realize gosh I haven't been doing that because I've been worried about what this person thinks or worried about breaking down family patterns or barriers or doing things differently you know doing things differently can be a huge thing I know when I first went self-employed my goodness you know nobody in our family had gone self-employed <laughs> so I, I really did break down barriers with that um yeah, so um, you know that can be it, it can be really powerful, and it's what we do. Is, you know, I help people overcome those. So yeah, if you're thinking, oh gosh, you know, I can't do this because I'll upset X, Y, and Z. Just reach out, book out, book in for a free half hour call, and see whether I can help. So, yeah. anyways, right. Enjoy your week so much. As I said, I'm going to be dropping an uh, email um, later on today with tips about how to to manage Christmas a bit more mindfully and to have a happier run up to Christmas as well as happy solstice and a happy um, uh, Christmas. We can spend so much time spending, you know, on it, creating the happiest Christmas day or the happiest solstice day that we can get really stressed in the run up to it. And um, yeah, so I've recorded a video to help you with that. So I hope that helps. It'll be released later. Um, so either head to my Natural Happy Facebook page or my YouTube channel and you will find the information there. So have an amazing, 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 amazing day. And uh, yeah, surrounding you with so much love. Have a fab day. Lots of love and week. <laughs>